Hi guys, Achi Luxury, and today, guys, I'm going to discuss why did I swap a Patek Philippe Calatrava for a Grand Seiko Spring Drive. That's right, guys. Now, before we discuss this, let's run the intro and start this video. <laughs> Guys, it's Archie Luxury, your pontiff. And today, guys, I, we want to discuss a very interesting topic. And uh, so, what's basically happened? So, what has happened? This is not clickbait. No, it's not clickbait. It's not clickbait. This is actually what has taken place. Uh, the pontiff, your pontiff, has actually swapped a Patek Philippe Calatrava for a Grand Seiko Spring Drive. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So this here is the um, the Calatrava. It's a five one nine six white gold. It's in. It's 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 a five one nine six G. Now let's have a look at this. Ooh, it's sharp. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, and it's 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 just a nice beautiful piece. So, okay, I get it. That's a nice watch. Uh, what did our Puntiff swap this for? That's what I would really like to know. What did he swap it for? And um, let's let's take a look at that because that's going to be an interesting uh, question. So it's all very well. Okay, that that's what what he had. And what did he swap it for? Let's let's call it up, and let's let's take a a sticky beak at the watch itself. Let's go and take a sticky beak. So that's okay. What does the Grand Seiko Spring Drive look like? Here we go. We're just getting it up. Let's have a look at this here. Da 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 da. There we go. Grand Seiko Spring drive now why did he do this why did the pontiff do this and there's a simple reason obviously he got a shitload of cash a shit load of cash mm. he didn't just do the swap one for one it came with a shit load of cash and the reason for that is well I got to be totally honest with you. After my burglary, I bought a few pieces. Yes, I did. I bought a few pieces. And I was hoping I could really rekindle the love for my collecting. Uh, I was really thinking I could rekindle the love for collecting the hobby, the enthusiasm. And the unfortunate thing is, is that my really expensive pieces, well, they have basically been, they have basically been safe queens. That's what they've been. They have been safe queens. And you know what? If you're not wearing it, What's the point in having it? And I got a considerable mortgage. Um, and I thought, you know what? Fuck this. Let's get rid of a few. Now, so what I did, let me give you the drum here. So what I did was I firstly, the first piece to go was the Daytona. The Daytona. 
the Maserati Blue Daytona. I sold that to my good friend, Madman. Madman, he picked that up. Then I, I was actually, I had someone on the paddock, but they were stuffing me around. They were just not pulling the trigger. I wanted money in my bank. I didn't want to do a swap or do this or do that. I wanted the money. So I actually put it for sale on a Facebook forum. I had a few bites. And finally, one guy just came and said, yep, I want it. And I want to do a swap with a Grand Seiko involved. And you know what? I've been wanting to test drive a Grand Seiko for a long time. And that's what made me pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger, big boy. And that's exactly what I did. So the reason for it is nothing is wrong with the paddock. The paddock is actually a fantastic watch. However, however, you know what the problem is, don't you? The big problem is that the big problem is that I've just not feeling the love. After the burglary, all my pieces are in the bank safe. I have one or two, two maximum at home and definitely not expense. You know, the expensive piece, very rarely do I keep it home for long. So petrified of just, just the mental anguish from the burglary. So you know what, guys? This is what the picture looks like. That's it now. The Maserati Daytona's gone and the Patek Philippe 5196 white gold gone. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's what's happened. And why did I do it? Well, it's because after the Berg, I ain't feeling the love. I'm just not feeling the love for this piece anymore. I can't enjoy it. I can't take it hard. You know, I just... I just thought, you know what? For me, new goals. Instead of building a fuck off collection, I want to tell my mortgage to fuck off. That's right. I want to tell my mortgage to fuck off. I thought, you know what? Is that Calatrava going up? Well, I probably priced it. You know what? There's profit. The person who bought it off me, there's profit in it for them. But I got my money back. I got my money back. And I can live to tell another tale. That's right. I can live to tell another tale. So in that sense, I don't really have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with it. It's, it's okay. It's okay. But you know what? The reason I did it, I just wasn't, I don't like to, it was too expensive. I got rid of the two most expensive. I got rid of the Daytona Maserati Blue and the Patek Philippe 5196. I'm just shell-shocked from the burglary. That's the thing. That's the reason. That's the reason. And that's why I sold those two pieces. That's it. Pump that into the home loan. Get rid of the HELOC. The HELOC. Home equity line of credit. Get rid of that piece of shit. And you know what? As a dress watch, I got the Reverso Grand Date. I got the Reverso. I got the Reverso. And the Reverso, to be totally honest with you, it is a great piece and it's it's a fraction the paddock is a you know that's a heavy hitter the paddock was a heavy hitter but it's big money the reverse so how many times have i go to how many how many fucking weddings have i been invited to in the last um couple of years i can count them <laughs> I, can, I, I can count them <laughs> I, I can count them with my thumbs. You're not many. Nobody invites me to weddings or 
formal occasion. So I thought, fuck this off. You know what? I'm not wearing it. I would rather use the money on my home loan. And my 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 heavy hitting piece is my bluesy submariner. I got the speedy, the speedy. That's that was given to me as a gift. I can't sell that. The reverso is. I mean, it's the reverso is not shit, but it's it's not twenty thousand dollars. It's you know, it's it's sub ten thousand dollar piece. I'm talking Aussie dollars, not American Aussie dollars. And uh, I, I'm okay with it. And I get to play with a part of the deal was a cash component, a big cash component, and a Grand Seiko Spring Drive. So I thought, you know what? Why not give it a shot? Why not give it a shot? And I'm thinking if I really love the downsizing, I might piss off. The Explorer 2! Explorer 2 and my wife's Oyster Perpetual Rolex! Piss that off. So just keep the Speedy and also sell the Grand Seiko. Speedy, uh, Submar Submarina Bluesy and the Reverso. I mean, how many, how many, how many of these things do you need? You don't need to own every bloody one. And I'd like to pump it into the the home loan. Pump it in, baby. Pump, pump, pump. That's the whole thing. Pump it in. So that's the reason. It wasn't that there's anything wrong with the Calatrava. In fact, that's a beautiful Calatrava. I mean, how could you not love it? It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so that's, that's really the answer to that. That's the reason. That's the reason. That's the reason. That's the reason for, um, that's the reason. That's the reason. So I can play with this for a bit. When I get bored with it, I'll flick it. Get my money back and Bob's your uncle. That's it. There you go. So that's how Archie Luxury swapped a Patek Calatrava for a Grand Seiko Spring Drive. There you go. That's the reason. So I wanted to cash out. I wanted to cash out and really crunch the mortgage down. Guys, if you want to sell a watch, if you're in America, there's only one person I'd recommend, and that is David S.W., David SW, David SW. That's where I'd go to buy or sell a Rolex or any other watch for that matter. David SW. That's who I recommend. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America... If you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride, go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David 